Fish tanks are like miniature biomes, entire ecosystems secluded from the rest of the world. Despite the fact that a constant supply of food reduces competition, the organisms that live here must learn to cope with one another in a small environment. All of these fish were introduced into the tank on purpose, to serve as pets and attractions to the humans who take care of them. But a quite different looking animal has been introduced by accident. A creature of minuscule proportions, yet possessing momentous abilities. These are Malaysian trumpet snails, also known as red-rimmed melania. A few months ago, there were only two snails living here, but to this day, their numbers have multiplied and multiplied and multiplied. These are some of the most interesting, peculiar, and yet widely unknown potential inhabitants of freshwater environments. While they are naturally found in subtropical and tropical areas of Asia and Africa, populations have wound up all around the world in large part through the activities of aquarists. Belonging to the family Thiaridae, they are part of a class known as gastropods, the largest group of the phylum Mollusca, which includes snails and slugs. Their scientific name is Melanoides tuberculata. Malaysian trumpet snails are omnivores that will eat almost anything. They are incapable of catching live prey, but are excellent scavengers, scouring the ground and the walls for anything that may be of value. Any sort of vegetation is bound to be eaten by them. Just moments after this cucumber slice is dropped in the water, the snails sense its presence. Eventually, the weight of the snails causes the cucumber to sink. These snails so nearly made it. But then something rather funny occurs. One of the snails slips, and the reduced weight allows the cucumber to float to the surface again. It takes hours, but finally team effort enables the snails to keep their food on the ground, and the feast begins. This one slice will provide enough food for days. Like all gastropods, the trumpet snails are slow-moving animals, but nonetheless constantly travel long distances in search of food, a muscular foot pulling them along. And up on the surface, an entirely different and somewhat bizarre act is performed. These snails are not floating, but are in fact crawling upside down along the water's surface. They accomplish this by secreting a trail of mucus that offers an adhesive grip for parts of the foot. It is a preposterous evolutionary trait. 
but clinging to the surface is no easy task. The youngsters, with their lightweight bodies, have a much easier time. Perhaps the adults should just stick to the walls. So what is the secret to their extreme rates of reproduction? Malaysian trumpet snails are hermaphrodites, meaning they possess both male and female reproductive organs and are capable of asexual reproduction. Studies have shown that they will keep multiplying as long as there is a constant food supply to sustain their numbers. Because of this rapid reproduction, many aquarium owners consider these snails pests, while others find them quite beneficial, consuming unwanted vegetation and aerating substrate. To produce offspring, the snails go through a process called parthenogenesis, which allows unfertilized female gametes to form with sexual fertilization, essentially creating an offspring that is a clone of the parent. The following experiment was conducted to evaluate and observe how fast the Melanoides tuberculata reproduce in response to different environments. Six one-liter jars were each filled with tap water and contained two Malaysian trumpet snails, creating two groups of three environments. Within each group, one jar of snails was fed fish flakes, another carrots, and the last one bread. One group was placed with exposure to direct sunlight, and the other to an incandescent light. During a period of four weeks, the snails' food supply was constantly checked. Unfortunately, this experiment produced negative results. Although most of the snails had survived, none of them had produced new offspring. While there were many factors that could have gone wrong, the best supported explanation for this was the lack of a proper filtration system. Without one, excess food in the jars became contaminated and deteriorated the water quality, creating an inadequate environment for snail reproduction. The results of this experiment were unexpected, but in the wild, and in well-regulated fish tanks, whether or not they be considered pets or pests, Malaysian trumpet snails' diet, behavior, and rapid reproduction make them a fascinating, exquisite, and extremely successful species.